Okay, so obviously I am a little bit late to the party on this one because I had to head out for work really early this morning and didn't get back until about 15 minutes ago, so that's my bad. But on the bright side, uh, this data download wasn't the craziest. I mean, of course, it was still exciting because it's related to the worldwide celebration, but we didn't get any details or animations for the LR Future Zamasu or Vegito Blue, so I don't feel too bad about it. Anyways, uh, with that said, in this video, we are going to be breaking down the latest global data download as of August 24th, 2023. A big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. Make sure to go follow him. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it. We're going to start here with the uh, Worldwide Celebration promo movie, at least for part one of the celebration. So let me just quickly pause the music here and then we're going to watch this together for the first time because I haven't seen it either. So uh, here we go. Throwing in some earbuds so I can hear the music. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Yo, that transformation was fire, man. That animation for the Vegito, obviously, part of the new LR Vegito Blue. That was sick. Uh, you know what? Before I say anything else, let's just watch it one more time. Just watch it one more time. So good, so, so good. Um, yeah, I'm hyped, guys. I'm, I'm freaking hyped. Uh, we'll see the full animation soon enough, but for now, that, that is enough for me. Um, good promo, good, good video. Uh, the music was great as well. Uh, really good OST. Um, yeah, it did the job. It, it definitely... <laughs> did the job to hype me up so that's the first thing let's move on to number two which is the free-to-play int teen trunks um who is you know a free-to-play story unit i'm assuming he's gonna get uh not only a token awakening but also an extreme z awakening as well and uh, let's quickly talk about what he does because we do have his details here so his leader skill is future saga category key plus two hp attack and defense plus 30 percent uh, passive key plus one, attack and defense plus 70%, uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack if there is another Future Saga category ally attacking in the same turn. So a pretty um, basic unit at the time for the time being, but of course he will be getting awakenings and EZAs and such, so he will be significantly better once it's all said and done right and uh his passive is or sorry his uh super attack raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and can we watch the animation here i think we can let's see um okay i mean we don't have the sprites for the actual trunks and the enemy but you can get the idea you you, you can you can get the idea basically it's a very simple animation right now until he gets that Dokken Awakening. So 
That is the trunks. Oh, links. My bad. Links. Messenger from the future, Cold Judgment, Rail Lineage, Dismal Future, Z Fighters, and Soul vs. Soul. And uh, he has a bunch of categories as well, which you can see there. So, that's the free to play trunks. Uh, we have a new event called In Search of Light of Hope. And this is. Uh, it looks like a skill orb event to me. Yeah, I believe it's a skill orb event for a new category, probably. And then we also have a uh, limited attempts event and the tragedy future fighter super training. And this looks like uh, possibly a skill, no, not skill orb, um, maybe a link level uh, boost event, something like that. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm assuming it is. Or maybe let's just go with that for now let's let's go with link level boost stage but it could be something else i could be wrong about that okay next up we have a uh, story event dragon ball super future trunk saga so it's an existing event but there's a new stage called indomitable fighters comeback right here and then we also have uh, stage three of the uh dismal future ultimate red zone and uh this is versus goku black right so there you go uh, we have a new challenge event called Divine Wrath and Mortal Will. Stage 1, Rise Up and Fight Back. Stage 2, Goku Black Attack. Stage 3, Goku's Test of Strength. And Stage 4, Zero Mortals Plan. And these are the four uh, maps, respectively, for each of those four stages. We have another new story event, Super Warrior Memorial. Uh, Trunks, Fighter of Hope. And this is, uh, I believe, the one where we get the free-to-play trunks we just talked about, right? So, we only have three stages right now. There will be more stages released once we get to part two, part three, and so on and so forth. And then we have a brand new special edition battlefield. We can see that some of the enemies are definitely different. We got this um, Spirit Sword Trunks. We have Mai, uh, Goku Black, Rose, Samasu, um, what else? Future uh, Gohan. So yeah, those are some of the enemies. Obviously there will be more, but it's gonna be a special edition battlefield. So definitely some special enemies for this time for or for this, yeah, for this one, right? And then we have some special trade jewels. So this one is a red dragon stone, but it's a special red dragon stone. Uh, the description here is available for a limited time, can be used at Baba's shop. So they mentioned something in the news, I think about um, how you can acquire like token awaken characters. I'm assuming that this star here is to signify that this is different from the original red dragon stones, right? Like this one will get you a token awakened unit. And uh, hopefully we have some better options as well, as far as units we can select from the pool. And then we also have this special purple dragon stone, which as always is available for purchase in the stone shop. You get it with stone packs. Now, what confuses me a little bit is that there is a different, uh, more exciting looking purple dragon stone. I'm not sure if this is, um, yeah, it's called, uh, oh, 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 I see. Okay, so they separated, they separated the purple stone by UR premium dragon stone and LR premium dragon stone. So I guess... This one is for buying the URs now, like the category leads and stuff like that. And this one is for buying the LRs. So the pool maybe is similar to before, possibly with some new additions, but it's just they separated, um, you know, the available units by LR and UR um, between these two stones. Before you could buy the uh, LRs or URs based on how many purple stones you had, right? So I guess now it's just LR purple stone and UR purple stone. Pretty interesting. Um, next up, we have this special uh, 50 special summon ticket with the guaranteed LRs. If you get all 50 tickets, you get three guaranteed LRs from the free multi. And uh, we'll definitely talk about how to get all of these tickets as we get the information. So uh, stay tuned for a video about that. And uh, we also have this tons of thanks ticket, which is, uh, you know, just like a purple, not purple, sorry, a rainbow ticket for summoning on the celebration banners and uh, we'll be able to get them through uh, missions logins things like that and uh, yeah some free extra summons can't complain about that uh, what else do we have we have this 
um, wallpaper. A Vegito Blue versus Fusion Zamasu wallpaper, which is going to be available through the co-op campaign. And then we also have some new login screen assets. Uh, it looks like featuring Vegito, featuring um, Zamasu, and uh, that's about it. Yeah, it looks like everything else is pretty standard. So mostly just the Vegito and the Zamasu stuff is new. Cool. Stay tuned for that later today or tomorrow, I guess, depending on your time zone. Uh, more login screen assets, as you can see, Vegito Blue, Zamasu, more Zamasu, okay, very cool. And then we have some scripted assets. We got a couple of Gokus, we got a Young Trunks or Youth Trunks, we got a couple of Goku Blacks, you know, the characters that will be featured in the celebration basically. We got a couple of future Teen Trunkses, uh, got a feature Mai. The Masu, these are all actual card arts for existing units actually. We got Fusion Zamasu, Badman Vegeta, uh, Gowasu, and uh, there's an OST which I'm not going to play just because uh, I think it might be, it's copyrighted. So I'm not going to play that, not going to play this one, but definitely turn on your volume to hear those. And uh, boost schedule, there's some new skill orbs for Future Saga, some co-op missions, and uh, a boy to Rami as well in the comments. So there you have it, guys. That is the data download. Uh, like I said, not the most exciting things we could have gotten just because it doesn't specifically feature the LRs, but still some pretty interesting stuff. Some new things we haven't seen before, like the trade jewels are different. Um, you know, some new events and all those things. So. Good stuff. Thank you once again to Proton10MG for posting everything, and thank you guys for having patience with me. Um, if you're watching, then I appreciate you for still watching, even though I'm very late for this one. And uh, stay tuned for more content. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are hyped for the celebration, which you did. Do you want more without knowing what they do yet or seeing the animations? I mean, we saw part of the Vegito Blue animations, but you know what I mean. We haven't seen the full animations yet. And uh, as always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.